right, show of hands, who wants to take on the chaotic killing machine first? He's your cheap copy, you take him on! With that kind of power, it could take everyone to fight him off. Everyone's kind of preoccupied. We're on our own. Laser! Are we? Dang, Silver, you're a way better shot than I thought you were. Um, that wasn't me, you guys. Look! I have several questions. Talk to the tail, you metal freak show. You glorified shaving razor! Sorry about that. Got a little carried away. Hello, Sonic. Forget them. If you have the emerald, report back immediately. Run away, cowardly machine, and don't come back. My dearest beloved, thank you for coming to our rescue, Sugar Twan. I dare. Oxygen! <laughs> I'm sorry, I just love you, hun. Love you too, but I also love breathing. Uh oh! If you two are quite done, I do believe Metal Sonic got away with an emerald. Oh, right. I was too, as they say, catching in the moment. Don't worry, that's a bridge we're gonna cross later. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, how's the station doing? Three of the stabilizers are okay, but the one you couldn't get to took some nasty damage. We got it under control, but next time maybe you should send Sonic. Right, sorry, that was my fault. Anyways, thank you guys for the assist. Antoine, was it? Oui, that is me. And these are my new friends, Tengar and Whisper. Hello guys. What's up buddies? Also, isn't that a- Another Metal Sonic? Metal Sonic where? Rocket! was referring to you. Oh. Well, in that case... Boy. Yeah, don't worry about him, guys. Long story short, he's on our side. My readings on your wisp aren't looking too good. How many times have you absorbed his power? I lost count. Why? Oh, that's not good. Whisper says Eggman models shouldn't absorb wisps so much. It could reduce them to a... a negligent state? Negative state. A bad long-term effect on wisps. Oh man, I'm sorry little guy. I guess I have been overworking you. A bit. Don't worry, he should be okay. As long as you let him rest and don't use him for a while. Well, I'm gonna miss going in rocket mode, but as long as my little buddy is safe. Good to see you guys again. Didn't know you were acquainted with Antoine, though. Yes, our paths only crossed because Tangle and I were relocating to Mobian Village as part of the restoration. We brought them to a supposedly uninhabited island when we found this guy raving about a magic sword and a rescue mission. I was not doing the res. I simply enlisted their help is all. Wait, what did you mean by rescue mission? We are on a tres special mission to rescue a dear friend of ours. But I fear our numbers are still too weak for the task. And that is why I came to find you all. But mostly you, mon chéri. Ah, stop it, you. Uh, look, Antoine, it's not that I'm not incredibly happy to see you or anything, but we're already preoccupied with a quest of our own, and it's pretty major, so... Sonic, wait. You don't understand. We found her. 
I know you hate it when I bring it up, Mon ami, but we gave up too early. I believe our princess is alive. I'm sorry, but did he say princess? Princess Sally Acorn. She was once a great ally of ours in the fight against Eggman and very close to Sonic. But one day, she took a solo recon mission into Eggman territory. Things went south and we lost contact. By the time Sonic got there, she was gone. You could say that was a highly contributing factor to the Freedom Fighters disbanding. We've been out of contact for so long, some of us never gave up. Antoine, you know I appreciate your optimism, but I think it's been made very clear that she is gone. There's no way to reverse that. That is what I thought for a long time, but I have finally found the key to helping us. It is this, this, this was so much easier when I rehearsed. This! Cool, an old rusty sword. An old rusty sword! Yeah, that's what I said. This is no ordinary sword. This is the long lost sword of Acorn. The legendary heirloom passed down to the Acorn family for generations. Okay, well, forgive me if I'm missing something, but how is that going to solve the case of your missing friend? Because this sword has spoken to me. It says it was meant to answer the princess in her greatest time of need, which means she must be alive. Sugar Twan, I thought we agreed you wouldn't hold conversations with your swords anymore. Look, I enjoy the company of talking medieval weapons as much as the next person, but even I think that's a bit of a stretch. Well, the Sword of Acorns is a powerful relic capable of harnessing chaos energy, but... Yeah, I have to agree with Sonic, much as I hate to say that. Excuse me, is this magical sword telling you where to find Princess Sally as well? Why, yes indeed, Whisper. She is currently with the Egg Fleet. No way! The Egg Fleet? Let's go! What a coincidence! That's exactly where we need to- Whoa, well, what's up? Something's not right. Things are getting too coincidental for my taste. Oh, you mean the fact that two vessels are potentially going to be in the same place as a supposedly all-powerful sword? Basically, yeah. If I knew Mephless, he most likely anticipated this from the start. A sword that controls chaos power could be way too helpful for him. You really think he even knows about the sword? I can't say for sure, but anything's possible at this point. I feel like we shouldn't risk it. Oh, come on! Mephless can't just follow us to the egg fleet. What's he gonna do? Sprout wings like a chicken? Plus... I can take care of myself. I'll die fighting before Mephless uses me for some sort of twisted ritual. Well, let's not have it come to that. Nevertheless, I think it'd still be wise to make this a quick outing. Alright guys, we'll help. Just so happens we were going to pursue the Egg Fleet anyway. Another one of our friends is being held captive there. Sweet! Everyone on board the Tanglemobile! Did I put the parking brake on? I did not put the parking brake on. It was merely a rental. I think that makes it worse. Don't worry, guys. I can remote call the tornado. Should be here in no time. Query. <laughs> How will that aircraft fit all of us? Good point. Plus, one plane won't be enough for the egg fleet. It's like we'll have to be really small, really agile, and really... Ah, dang it. Hey, Jet. Yeah, what's up? Are your hoverboards built for high-altitude flight? No, but they can be tweaked for it. Just drains their power faster. Why do you ask? Guys, I have a plan. No, you don't! Hey Forge, aren't you coming? You know what, I was actually gonna stay behind. Since my Wisp is out of commission, I'm gonna try to figure something else out. Wait, are you serious? Well, we really need you. You can't back out now. Don't get your quilts on a knot, old buddy. I'm still coming. I'll just be a little late. All right, but your dramatically late entrance better be worth the wait. You know me too well.
Hey, little guy. Those alien buddies seem pretty cool, don't they? Well, why don't you go on with them? You and I should take a break from causing mayhem anyway. Don't worry. Once you're well rested, we'll get back to blowing stuff up. You can count on it. So, you guys stay behind too, huh? Hey, what's going on? I'm heavy, that's bomb. But you can cause two solid reasons to not be zipping up around high altitudes. Aha, I see. What about you, Emerald? After an attack from Dr. Eggman, it is logical I stay behind and defend this station. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Wait, you can talk using other people's voices? Yes. People seemed upset that I wasn't talking, so I thought... Might as well. Hey, wait, are you still up for that thing? Uh, fine. But you better pay up later. And you guys also owe me for those boards. Hey, are you sure we're going the right way? Yeah, how do we even know where this egg fleet is heading? Simple. It just so happens that some good friends of ours have infiltrated Eggman's command ship. All we have to do is keep following their signal east. More freedom fighters. Oh, it's like we're getting the old band back together. We have already begun to restore the freedom fighters in response to the threat of Mephiles, but the team will be pointless without a proper leader. Wait, you know about Mephiles too? We, Miss Emma Rose, contacted us about the threat. Well, it's good to have you guys back. Alert. Egg flyers ahead. They are engaging an unknown signature. Mademoiselle, we do not mean you any harm. Yeah, hun. You were fighting Eggman, so maybe we're on the same side? You ain't a big talker, are you? My mission is to search and destroy, not socialize. And who are you again? Classified. You can trust us. Aren't we both after Eggman? When our paths cross again, stay out of my way. She seems nice. Well, she only said to stay out of her way. She didn't say anything about following her, so... Forward! Knuckles, you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm good. Just, there's something about the marking on her helmet. Ooh, familiar person, Knuckles. Could it be... Love? What? No, not that. It's something else, but I just can't put my finger on it. Gee, Nux, I wonder how Rouge would feel. I said... Ugh, forget it. Alright guys, we're coming up on the Egg Fleet. Tangle, Whisper, go ahead and take your surveillance point. We shall draw their attention. Roger that. Drawing attention does seem to be Antoine's specialty. Hooray for us. Wow, look at all those ships. Hard to believe this is simply a run that way. Ahead. That looks like a good surveillance spot. Roger that, fearless leader! Angle, you okay? Wee! <laughs> yeah, she's okay. Oh, 
now. Looks like the switch is missing a piece. We should search for that. Found it. Ugh, you're no fun. Good afternoon, miss. We brought you some lunch. Uh, I'm not hungry. Oh, come now. It's important that you keep up your energy. Yeah, especially since Eggman's gonna hook you up to a gigantic robot for- Ow! Eggside Manor, Cubot. But please eat something. You must be famished. If you two really want to help me, then maybe you could open up that door behind you? As much as we'd like to, the boss would have our heads! As in, on a mantle or something. Oh, I'm afraid he's quite right. We have to do whatever he says, no matter how illogical and or gimmicky it may seem. But you don't understand. There's a dark ritual that seeks to destroy all living things, and I'm a part of it. If I don't go back with Sonic and his friends, we could all be in grave danger. Oh my, is that so? What do we care? We're not living things. The doctor is Cubot. If he's gone, then we're as good as dead batteries. Do you want to be rusting on the ground, lifeless, in the back alley of a thrift store? Oh no! Not a thrift store! Come on with us, Cosmo! We'll get you out of here, and not a single soul has to know! Both of you, report back to the command deck. Yes, sir! We were ju actually just on our way up there. Don't know about you, but I love the command deck! If you want to make things easier on yourself, I suggest you stop trying any bold tactics. Especially for one so frail and helpless. I'm not afraid of Eggman, or you, Infinite. Oh, child. Sometimes the anticipated is far more frightening than the immediate. There is much more about to happen that you can't possibly comprehend. Wait, how does Eggman know about the prophecy? Please, you really think that Eggman cares for some ancient nonsense? I'm only familiar because of my... Other business partner. You mean Mephilus? <laughs> You're quite on top of this, aren't you? And so are your friends, it seems. You really think they wouldn't have come for me? On the contrary. We anticipated it. For the love of Maria Robotnik, can a guy ask for 10 minutes without Sonic and his pinhead rodents showing up? Honestly, I'm surprised it took him that long! Infinite, intercept Sonic and his friends immediately. Project M506 is too close to completion for them to interfere. I want them blown out of the sky if necessary. All right, we lucked out, you guys. Not a single danger in sight. Your mouth is the one thing that shouldn't be moving so fast. Well, well. Good to see some of you survived guns, man. We all know you're here to enact a pathetic rescue attempt for your friend Cosmo, but you're only endangering yourselves. I'm afraid I have no choice but to decimate you all. Wait! Maybe we can cut a deal. Tails, what are you doing? I'm thinking. Some sort of trade. I'm listening. Our Chaos Emeralds for Cosmo. I don't know what Eggman wants with her, but it can't be more valuable than the power of two more emeralds. Uh, Tails? Unexpected, but interesting. Very well, Fox. I will inform Eggman of your proposition. You have 20 minutes to report to our command deck. A second more and we'll have to recover the emeralds from your singed ashes. Doesn't he just grow on ya? Okay, Tails, do I really have to tell you that Eggman is gonna botch this deal? Oh, trust me, I know. All that matters is that we stall Eggman long enough for the others to rescue Sally, and I feel like Eggman would lead us directly to where he's keeping Cosmo. Oh, well, that was close. These boats are magnifique! Query, how do we enter this battleship? Silver to Whisper, you guys at your surveillance point yet? Sure are! Scouring the battleship for an entry point as we speak. Not seeing anything yet. We may need to look. 
Wait, I see something. Does a red star pattern mean anything to you guys? Red star? Not particularly. That's the signal! Okay, never mind. They found a way in. We'll hang tight till we hear from them. You think all that stuff they talked about was true? About that Mephilus guy going after some crazy prophecy? I mean, we've seen crazier. True. Either way, I hope we can stop that psycho. Oh, speaking of psychos, what happened to that rocket-powered metal sonic guy? I think he stayed behind for upgrades. I wonder how he's gonna get crazier than double wisp rockets. I call it a hyper chaos drive. It's crystallized chaos energy I developed way back when we worked with Eggman. However, when things went south with him, I was left without anything sufficient to harness it. So what you're saying is Eggman is better than you. No, I'm just saying nothing I have is compatible. So do you want this thing installed or not? I mean, probably my best option. My biggest source of firepower had to be benched for fear that I'd literally drain his life force. So, this thing like a Chaos Emerald, or...? Oh, hardly. It's a fraction of a Chaos Emerald's power, but can still be pretty versatile. It's more tuned to machines than life forms, so theoretically it is compatible with you. Theoretically? Either it works, or you explode. I will take that chance! So, who's the friend we should be thanking for letting us in? You will see. For now, let us push forward. As long as we stick together, our perseverance shall win the day. I surrender! Seriously, Antoine? Is an egg pond really all it takes to make you throw in the towel? No, no, no. I am not having any towers. I was simply faking a surrender. Right. Anyways, glad you could all make it. But, hold on. Where's Sonic? He's right here! How did he get here so fast? Really, Antoine? Shouldn't you be stalling Eggman, Sugarhog? Eh, yeah, Tails and Knuckles are covering for me. I'll be back up before they make it to Eggman's command deck. Observation! You are stalling the stalling! Can't argue with that, Gamma. I just needed to see if you guys were right. Is she really here? Yep. Wasn't just a crazy rumor. We really did find her. Rotor, how did you even- Well, I can't take all the credit. Greetings, Sonic. Friends, so good to have you all together again. Antoine, do you have it? Right this way, friends. She is alive, but she's... To our amazement, we found out that Sally was never killed. Instead, she's been roboticized by Eggman. From my analysis, her programming became highly unpredictable. Hence, Eggman sealing her in deep storage and likely forgetting about her entirely. So she's been locked up by Eggman for... I've never fully calculated, but yes. Many years. Hey, Sally, it's me, your old pal Sonic. Uh, like what you did with your outfit? <laughs> Same old Sal, I guess. This may take a while to figure out. Sonic, you should go back to helping Tails and Knuckles. Alright, just be careful, guys. And Sally, you behave. So, who wants to go first? You go ahead. I'm fine right here. Just to late, man, I had to use the restroom. Seriously? That's the best excuse he could come up with? Even G.U.N. wouldn't fall for that weak cover story. Knuckles, you and I should both know by now that isn't Sonic's strong suit. Yeah, good point. By the way, what are you scanning right now? Keeping an eye out for Cosmo Signal. Her gemstone gives off a unique energy signature, and I recently figured out how to track it. Holy cow, I got it! Wait, Tails, where are you going? You'll be fine. Just keep making your way to the command deck. Where's the command deck? Hey, 
Hey, Cosmo. I'm so happy to see you. Me too. So sorry for letting you go. So what's going on here? Why does Eggman keep capturing you? Oh, it's terrible, Tails. I've seen what he's working on, and I think he's trying to recreate Metarex technology. Wait, what? Is that even possible? It would seem so. He has the designs and even the planet egg to make it happen. All he needs is my DNA as the main source to make it function. The same way he usually uses animals to make his bad nicks work. Seems kind of strange though. I mean, it's not like Eggman to imitate someone else. I don't know, but he's got a lot of nerve to exploit the betrayal of my people like this. I'm so sick and tired of everyone relishing in such ill decisions. I can't let him endanger the people I love. Cosmo? Oh dear, I'm sorry. No time for sorry! Magnix approaching! I promise I won't let you out of my sight, Cosmo! Ah! Are you kidding me? If you all have a plan, I suggest we go through with it now. Alright, Antoine, how do we go about converting Mecha Sally to normal Sally? I suppose you would take the Shard of Acorns, hold it high above your head, and charge it with Chaos Energy, and... Give it to her! <sighs> So let me get this straight. Your plan for fixing Mecha Sally is to just gift her what is essentially a weaponized Chaos Emerald? Now that I hear someone else say it, I could see how problems with her eyes. I'm not sure how much we should trust the supposedly sentient sword's judgment in the first place. Would it work if you guys just stabbed her? No! The head angle! What? But it's not like her organic self would be stabbed. I mean, she's not wrong. Why are you making this even an option? I don't care if it sounds silly. This is the only way we can and will save the princess. Alert. We seem to have bored that robot out of existence. Impossible. She was just here. I shall look. Wait, Antoine! <laughs> Oh, mon dieu, I am so stupid. I fell for the oldest trick in the book, like a burning baguette sounding off the fire alarm. Realization hit me far too late. We, accidents happen, as they say, but for the here and now, I must face the consequences of my mistake and keep my chin up that something good will come out of this- Okay, this is a problem. What is my luck with dark corridors lately? And what could possibly be down here? 